All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what a game. Uh, what a night of baseball. Um, I'm just um, recording this after I just got done uh, recording the Astros Rangers recap, which I'll upload when it's get done, when it gets ready. But, man, um, the Astro or the Phillies, D-backs, we have a series now, ladies and gentlemen. We have a series. This series is now tied at two apiece. Um... I can't believe it, man. The Phillies, man. They won the first two at home. I'm like, surely they could still one here on the road. But they couldn't. Um, they still have one more road game here. Um, Craig Kimbrell, man, he's choked the last two games. He just hasn't been able to throw strikes. And sending him out there for tonight after throwing, like, 20 pitches last night. I thought that was a very questionable decision by Rob Thompson, uh, the Phillies manager. I thought that was a really questionable uh, decision. Because he, he, he struggled last night. Why would you put him in here? And I think part of the reason is Toper uh, is to blame. For going back to Kent to the Kimbrel. You have two pitchers, Lorenzen and uh, Tom Walker. Um, in my opinion, on the roster, the manager won't use it unless it's a blowout or extra innings. You can't play a bull, bullpen game like that. Like, I get it. You want to use your bullpen guys. But you need to use, like, a long reliever or something like that. Put in Tom Walker, Michael Lorenzo to eat some innings. It's to where you don't have to use Craig Kimball. You can put in Jose Alvarado, who's more trustable. Yeah, I know he gave it that RBI hit, but the damage was already done before that where Craig Kimbrell fucking choked the game. And that was a bad loss. I mean, they needed to win this game. They needed to win this game. Because you have gave the D-backs the momentum now. You still have one more road game tomorrow night. I could really see the Phillies being down 3-2 going back home. Because... I don't know. I just feel like the D-backs are magical. They're just on a magical run, and they they might just steal this series. I thought it was done after, went, after they went up 2-0. Uh, the bullpen's just dead now for the D-backs. They had to use like seven or six or seven, seven or eight pitchers. It's just an unacceptable loss. You really should have went to Tom Walker earlier and saved Hoffman for the late innings because he's the only guy in the damn pen who can throw strikes. Because you saw every other pitcher was out there struggling to throw a strike. It's just awful. You, you, you can put anyone over Craig Kimber right now. They, they might lose this. Like, what's the point in carrying Walker and Lorenzen if you won't use them? At that point, anyone's better than Craig Kimbrell. Unacceptable loss from the Phillies. Unacceptable managing, I thought, from Rob Thompson. And this, and it's Craig Kimbrell, man, uh, he had a great regular season, but he's just choked in the postseason. I, I had to see it for the Dodgers, how many times he choked a game for us. Well, yes, it wasn't the playoffs. It's still the same situation in big games. He would choke. And he's doing it now. And the Phillies just were sloppy tonight. It's a big problem. The Phillies believe in Kimbrell. That's a big problem. Because he's not going to win you games now. He's choked the last two. He's probably not, he probably doesn't have any confidence now. So I really thought that was a questionable decision. Uh, Christopher Sanchez will go over now the rest of the game. That was my uh, talk about Craig Kimbrell. But let's go over the actual game. So the Diamondbacks uh, scored two in the first three innings. Um, an RBI from Emmanuel Rivera. Uh, who drove in one. And I believe um, I think it was Christian Walker drove in the other run, if I'm not mistaken. So after that, it was two to nothing after the first two innings. So yeah, so it was a good first two innings for the D-backs, but then the Phillies in the fourth, Kyle Schwarber hit a home run. He's hit a lot of home runs this series. Uh, he got it two to one, and Brandon Marsh ties it up. 
with an RBI double in the sixth inning. Uh, the ball bounced fair. Christian, or I believe it was, um, I forgot who was at fucking third base. I believe it was Evan Longoria tried to throw it home. The ball got away. One run scored. Another run scored. And there was a lot, some talk if it was fair or foul, but it was clearly foul or fair. Uh, the third baseman caught it, tried to throw it home. Ball got away. Two runs scored. So it was a uh, uh, four to two. Uh, the Phillies then got one in the seventh. The D backs got one in the bottom of the seventh. So it was five to three going into the bottom of the eighth. And here comes Craig Kimbrell. And then Alec Thomas pinch hitting the biggest hit of his life. It's a two run home run right into the pool. That was just insane, man. Alec Thomas off the fucking bench. Fucking homers. Just insane. The D-backs don't give up, man. They don't give up. It's been a theme the whole season. They always answer back and when they're down. And their at-bats, you notice, get better throughout the game. They get better at-bats. That was the key. He was just having some good at-bats, good plate discipline in that bomb the eighth. Taking the walks. Even in the bomb the seventh took a walk to score a run. And then Alec Tong was the biggest hit of his life. But let's go over the pitching now for both sides. Whoever the Phillies first. Uh, Christopher Sanchez, two hits, one earned run, one walk, one strike, and 2.1 innings. Jeff Hoffman, 1.2 innings, one hit, no earned runs, no walks, uh, three strikeouts. He was pretty nasty tonight, you know, was uh, Jeff Hoffman. Matt Strom was actually with a scoreless inning. Sir Anthony Dominguez, one hit, no earned runs, one walk, two strikeouts, 1.1 innings. And this is where it started to go downhill with Gregory Soto. One hit, one earned run, one walk, 0.1 innings pitched. Orion Kirkering, zero hits, zero runs, two walks. And then you bring Craig Kimbrell, three hits, three earned runs, no walks, but in a strikeout. But then your bullpen from Sir Anthony Dominguez to Orion Kirkering with four walks. They just felt they couldn't throw a damn strike. And then Craig Kimbrell comes in and chokes chokes it away. And Jose Alvarado had to come in. He gives up that one hit that gives up the the um, gives up the game winning run to Gabriel Moreno basically because the Phillies failed to score in the ninth. Struck out with a Kyle Schwarber getting that double. Uh, with their offense, Kyle Schwarber two for three, two walks with a solo homer. He got that two out double, but Trey Turner struck out to end it. He was one for three a walk and an RBI. Uh, uh, Bryce Harper over three and a walk. Al Boom two for four with an RBI. Bryce Stott over three and a walk. He's completely forgot a hit uh, so far in this NLCS. Romito one for four. Castiano so for four. Brandon Marsh one for four and a walk. Some questionable strikes I thought to Brandon Marsh there, but you can't use that as an excuse. Uh, they really should have won this game. But Craig Kimbrell choked. Uh, Johan Rojas, 1 for 3, and Jake Cave pinch hit it with 0 for 1. They put in fucking Jake Cave. For the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply was the opener. 1 hit, no earned runs, no walks, and a strikeout. Luis Frias, 1.1 innings uh, of scoreless ball, struck out 2. Kyle Nelson, 1 hit, 1 earned run, 1 strikeout, 0.2 innings. This just dude sucks. Uh, Miguel Castro, 1.2 innings, 1 hit, 1 earned run, no, walk, no walks, and a strikeout. Andrew Southright, 0.1 innings pitch, one hit, one earned run, three walks. He couldn't find the damn strike zone. So he started to cost the Diamondbacks a little bit. Ryan Thompson, two innings, two hits, one earned run, two walks, three strikeouts. So five combined walks between Southright and Ryan Thompson. Kevin Ginkle with a scoreless inning. Paul Seawall, besides that hit, he struck out the, uh, the other three batters he faced. For, the, for their offense, Cattell Marte 2 for 4 with a walk. He's been really good these last few games. Corbin Carroll 0 for 4. Gabriel Moreno 2 for 3. Two walks and two RBIs. Great at bats for Moreno. Uh, Christian Walker 0 for 4. A walk and an RBI. Tommy Pham 0 for 2. Peyton Smith pinch hit 1 for one for 2. Lourdes Gurriel 1 for 4. Levin, Evan Longoria 0 for 3 and a walk. Rivera 1 for 3 and an RBI. Out Thomas pinch hit 1 for 1 with that 2 run homer. And Perdomo 1 for 4. But yeah, um, 3... Three run bottom of the eighth inning uh, for the Diamondbacks. Series tied two to two. All the momentum shifted to the D backs now. They have one more game at home. If they go up three two, it's danger time for the Phillies. It might even be danger time now. Nate, tomorrow night is a must win game for the Philadelphia Phillies. They can't go down three two. I know you'd be going back home, but you can't afford to go down three two against a team that's scrappy like the Diamondbacks. Yeah, it should be fun. Uh, the next two game sixes um, in the AL and NL. But, yeah, it's all savers for you. So until next time, I'm Peace.